James Melendez, James, the wine guy, stay tuned for a video on this beautiful wine. It is a Pinot Noir coming from the Santa Cruz Mountains, so stay tuned. And let me introduce this wine right now. This is Claude de la Tech. And uh, so Pinot Noir, Santa Cruz Mountains, huge fan of Santa Cruz Mountains wines. A particular bottle called Domaine Los Luis, Cote Sud. So it's a site, and it's a very, very steep site, about 35%, hence the word tech. So they had to design, and that's uh, TJ Rogers, uh, CEO and owner of uh, Claudella Tech, but also CEO of Cypress Semiconductor. So he had to design specific equipment to farm this site. And uh, so it's really amazing to think about that. Uh, beautiful bottle. I think Pinot Noir has just you know, found a home in the Santa Cruz Mountains, and it's not something that's just recent in terms of its uh, you know, just really great, well-produced wines uh, from this region. And uh, so you see the bottle number 223 out of 2042. You also see a semiconductor from Cypress, uh, 2009 vintage, by the way, 14.1% ABV, 18 months in new French oak, actually 75% new French oak. And uh, so this semiconductor right here is, I'll try to get this right. So this is a Cypress PSOC semiconductor, 32-bit computer, 36 touch buttons, two amplifiers, analog to digital converter, four programmable logic block, four counter timers, and two communication interfaces. Very cool, and uh, I've never seen a bottle like this ever, so I think it's a really well done bottling uh, format. So here's the back panel for your inspection here. And right here is Code Sud, so it's about 1,700 feet above sea level, and uh, so it's also very, very steep. So as I promised to show you, a specialized piece of equipment that uh, they use to farm the site. So without this specific design piece of equipment, you couldn't farm uh, the way you needed to farm this specific uh, site itself. So for me, Pinot Noir is a glorious thing coming from Santa Cruz Mountains, often overlooked. And uh, you know, sometimes people go directly uh, to north, if you will. That is, they go to Russian River Valley, perhaps Caneros. Uh, occasionally, you know, Pinot Noir is in the minds of the collective in terms of thinking of, uh, say, Anderson Valley, uh, SLH. Uh, but also, Santa Cruz Mountains has been producing beautiful Pinot Noir for quite some time and has gotten recognition, but I think it's really not in terms of saying the collective imagination of where to get your Pinot Noir from. It is fantastically beautiful, balanced, gorgeous, and uh, unique signature in terms of both the site and uh, the AVA as well. So here we go first with the scent characterization, flavor profile, and the point score. So on this wine, I'm getting uh, beautiful characteristic notes of lavender violets. Additional notes include autumnal leaves, blackberry, and cassis. So here we go next with the flavor characterization and the point score. Notes of cherry, blackberry, tayberry, pepper, clove, cinnamon, rose petal, and a mix of cardamom and allspice. I give this wine a 9.3 out of my 10.0 scale. Think of this as 93 points out of 100 points. And um, I'll put more information on the producer down below. I really hope to visit at some point in the uh, near term. And uh, so seek out these wines, they're fantastic. And uh, really showing what Santa Cruz Mountains can do in terms of wines of excellence. Thank you so much for watching. You'll find me on many social medias. Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as WordPress and Instagram. Thank you again for following me today. Stay tuned for more. Do me a favor, give a like to this video, share the video, and subscribe to my video channel. Stay tuned for more amazing wines to come. Thank you again, and salut.